In my last video, we had a look at the Negadoctor module using a uh, flatbed film scanner as um, the way of capturing the image. In this video, we're going to have a look at the same module, Negadoctor, but using images captured through a Micro Four Thirds camera. My setup is a little primitive using an old M42 mount slide duplicator, and I have a speed booster on the back of that to bring me up to about a 1.6 crop. None of the images have been processed by a lab. They've all been processed by me either in C41 chemistry or in caffeinol. So there is going to be some kind of variation in color, especially because the stocks are all uh, motion film stocks. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how the plugin actually handles the color shift and to see how far we can bring it back to what's considered a normal range. The first image is a Kodak 500T Vision 3, processed in C41. And right away, when we invert the image, it's very close to being just right. It's, it's really impressive to see the plugin work that well. Because the image is cropped, we don't have the luxury here of using the eyedropper tool and selecting the outside of the frame. So we're going through and making manual adjustments to to the color and it's it's turning out really well at a certain point it becomes less about realism and really more about interpretation about how you want the image to look overall i chose the next image because i knew it would be really hard to work with it's uh, the same film stock, 500T. So it's a tungsten-based film shot in daylight with no filter. And there's a big white background with the person wearing white. I think if I took the time with this image, it would turn out really well. For me, the purpose of a plugin like this, of Negadoctor, is not to come out with a finished image, but to have a, a solid base color-wise to work with uh, and bring that forward into the rest of Darktable. This next image is Kodak Vision 2 50D, so daylight balanced. I chose this because it's a bit of a hazy background, hazy day. Uh, processed in C41. So there's a slight color shift there, which the plugin is dealing with without any issues at all. Um, there's also a bit of a slightly out of focus quality to this image that I, I both like and also find a bit challenging to come to grips with in an edit. The next image is Kodak 500T. It's been processed in caffeinol as a black and white image, but I'm keeping the color information here instead of converting it to black and white or some monochrome variant. Uh, it's, there's really a lot to play with color-wise in here, and the plugin actually makes it really easy to do. This last image is Kodak 3378, a 16 millimeter stock not typically used for capturing images with, but it works really well and it's a favorite of experimental filmmakers. The capture itself is a lower resolution JPEG, so I wanted to see what would happen with limited information on the image to see how much we can we can get away with, what we can tweak. There's less latitude here for sure, but it's still quite usable. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.